It's 2019 and I'm on the road. In the last episode, we travelled from our camp spot in Angonia over the Queensland border to Kunnamulla. Now we had a choice to make. The road to our intended destination was closed. What were our alternatives? One wonders about the possibility that you will bump into someone you know when travelling a country as vast as Australia. A couple of days ago it was a customer from Sydney who recognised the car and caravan from my DVD series. The vehicle being parked in a truck rest area whilst I was over the road in a shop reminiscing about the old Back of Burke pub being burnt to the ground exactly nine years ago. Today it was an old friend from Perth, Kerry Gale, who had been touring the Eastern States for a few years now and we both wound up in Cunnamulla at the same time. Facebook alerted me to the fact that Kerry could be in town so I rang her. We arranged to catch up for coffee this morning before we both continued on our individual journeys. It was great to sit down and share some stories with a familiar place. Last night I had set up in a truck stop on the town boundary. There was a truck that had its motor running from about 2pm yesterday and was still running when I went to bed about midnight. I woke up to silence at about 5.40am. He'd obviously moved out during the night. I never heard him. After catching up with Kerry, it was time to drift on toward Eulo. It seems that the water on the road is almost in Thargaminda, but reading all the reports, there is a fair chance the road won't be opened in a hurry. Most other roads in the area were also closed, although they are dirt roads. The road I was planning on travelling is bitumen. I sat in the pub at Eulo, knocking off a bacon and egg burger, considering what I should do. I finally decided that I would take the road straight through the Quilpie instead. Thargaminda would have to wait. This is Eulo. Just had lunch in the pub, a uh, bacon and egg burger with some chips and some beer. Bundaberg ginger beer. Just trying to remember how this all works. There's a river down here, I think the river's probably beyond that bank. 
on the other side over there. Well, it looks like the old railway line. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have come along here. Okay, so it doesn't look all that promising, the Thargaminda idea. I think if it's closed, Thargaminda is closed. So the other alternative is to go north to Quilpie and then see where we go from there. This all looks as though it's been well and truly washed. There's a big lake into the left hand side here and uh, well yes when we say a lake it's a uh, there is a uh, waterway there. Oh the river's got water in it. Yep. Uh, running over the weir. We went in there it was all bulldust when we drove in there with the caravan last time. Um, certainly not conducive at the moment to driving in there at all. So the Thargaminda thing just might have to wait a while and we'll uh, We'll go up to Quilby, I think. Hope that I can find somewhere to stop on the way. Yeah, the Billabong Nature Drive, that's in there. I don't think we're attempting it at the moment, that's for sure. Damn, these flies are friendly. Uh, a little bit of moisture along here. All through here it's just all slop in the bush. Slop everywhere. Uh, we got a turn off coming up.
So it's decision time and we're going to go via Quilpy and maybe pick up on Fargaminder another time. Okay. Running about eight inches deep. The property there had a, uh, a levee bank around it. So the river very obviously comes up. cattle
If you enjoyed this video, there's over 200 more just like it on this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when our next video is available. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you weren't that impressed, please don't hit the dislike button. Instead, tell us why so that we can do something about it. Thanks for watching.